Hey guys, welcome to episode zero of how to use the Hypixel API. In this video, we're going to be going over basic usage of the Hypixel API for the player uh, section of the, the Hypixel API. Um, so for getting basic player stats for like normal Hypixel games. So if you want to get your stats for Quake um, or for like a duels game mode or Skywars, Bad Wars, whatever you want, uh, you can get it at this endpoint. And it's going to be for people who have a very basic level of knowledge in Python. And I'm going to be explaining like how JSON works. If you, if you don't know how any of that works, don't worry about it. It'll be explained this video. You just need to know how to use Python and have like an ID if you want to actually follow along. Um, so first off, we're going to be using two specific libraries in this. We're going to be using um, requests. So this is how you import libraries for those who don't know. You just do import another thing and you actually need to go and download these. So you're going to open up a command prompt and it's going to be something along the lines of um, pip install pip space install space and then the name. Uh, however, you shouldn't have to worry about that. If you're if you've gotten this far, you, there's another tutorial that um, you can follow probably along online for how to download libraries. So if we want to use those libraries actually in our, in our project, we've got to write that. And then to contact the API, we're going to need a few things. So over here in this other tab, I've already got the final uh, program for this for this project. We're going to start and we just want all these essentially. These are just a few things and we're going to be going over all these. So if you don't know what these are, um, oops, I did something I didn't want to do. There we go. So these are all things I'll be going over uh, one by one. So three of these are very simple. Okay, I'll start with the first one, your name. Okay, so that's the name of the account you want to get the stats for. You either need this or you need one of these, okay? So if you can get the player name, then that's good enough. If you don't want to do player name, you want something that's maybe a little faster, you can use your UID or your UID dashed, okay? Now, where to get dash or undash UIDs, for those who don't know, very helpful website, namemc.com forward slash, and then your player name, right? And it'll give you both your undash UID and your dash UID, okay? For this example, and for this API using the Hypixel API, you are not required to use one or the other. You can use whichever one you want, right? And then you're going to need your API key. This is very simple to get. You're going to log on to the Hypixel server. You're going to run this command right here in chat. You're going to do slash API new, okay? And this is going to give you something that looks like this. Don't bother trying to use this one. This one will no longer be valid by the time this video goes up, okay? So you're going to get this. This is going to be very key. You need this if you want to contact the API. Now, you might be thinking, why? what is request, what is JSON, right? So request is for sending get requests and for post requests, just different types of requests online, right? And these requests are how you get and give information on the web. So to get information from Hypixel API, we need to send a get request that is done via requests. And then JSON is a way of formatting data, okay? So the information we're getting back, we call it data. And there's different ways of formatting that. So if you can think of like a .jpg versus a .png, those are two different ways of encoding the data, right? JSON is a very easy way to do this and a very efficient way uh, to encode like transfer data, right? I'm gonna show you guys, I have a Firefox open that you'll be able to see in a second here. Um, right here and this is very simple it, it shows the an example of a request I already did so you can manually go type this in on the API if you want um, you can just type in this uh, thing with your own key and your own UID and you can get the player stats if you want you don't have to do it through Python there's I like automating stuff so I'm using Python uh, and this is what it looks like for the base okay so you're gonna have this and we're just subbing in the API key and we're subbing the name, okay, for this example. Now over here, this is how uh, the JSON looks, okay? It's not gonna look like this on every browser. I'm on Firefox for a very specific reason. There's automatic support for this. It's gonna look something like this by default, okay? And this account that I'm using, the 0x26e account, does not have a lot of stats, okay? If you're using an account that has played Hypixel for several years, you're gonna be looking at several hundred lines that look exactly like this, a wall of text, it's unreadable, all right? And in the past, I've used stuff like this before. It's not very fun. You just have to control your F your way through. Luckily, for those who uh, either 
already have Firefox or who are willing to get Firefox, there's auto formatting for JSON. So if you're planning to just use the web version and not actually write the Python script, you, it's worth investing either into Firefox or on Chrome, there's a few Chrome extension, extensions that do a very similar feature. All right, now back to what JSON is. JSON, there's two different parts of JSON. There's folders and there's endpoints, I like to call them, okay? So success here is an endpoint. Right? It's just like a, a variable and then what the variable is equal to. If I click on this, nothing else opens. Okay, But you see this play here? This is a folder right? because there's a really big value here. And that value has other folders embedded into it. So when we open this folder, you'll see there's all these arrows. I mean, those are like other folders. And you can open and close them however you want. And all the ones that without the arrows are just like endpoints, right? So there's like multiple layers here of folders. Sometimes you can get up to six, seven, however many layers of folders you want virtually. And so for this example, we're going to be using or obtaining these stats using Python. Now we're going to go back over to our Atom here. Now in Atom, uh, if we go back over to our template real quick, we're going to, there's this handy function. You can just copy paste this if you want. I'm going to explain how it works. Um, but this is why I use it in all my projects because I've already written it once. No need to write it again. Um, so it's a get, and the name of the, the function is get info. And you give it the the address, so the, the, the website address that you want to get information from. And then what it does is it takes that address and then sends a get request to it using the request library that we use over here, right? We imported it so we can use it. So it uses that and it puts that in a temp very temporary variable, okay? And then it just gives you back the JSON version of that variable. So it takes that variable and it says, hey, is this JSON? If so, make it JSON. Like if it's JSON um, compatible, so if it looks like it's JSON, because by default it's not in JSON form, it's just like a really big string. Um, if it can be JSON, make it JSON and then spit that back out, right? Now, to use this, very simple, you either uh, need to use one or the other for these websites if you're using name or using ID. In this example, we're going to be using name, okay? Um, so it's the name of my account, uh, which is your current username. And to do this, we want to do get info, and then we're going to pass in name link because I'm already using a string formatter here where it just takes the string and it takes this name and replaces it in here and then it takes the API key and places it in here, okay? So what this is doing is it's essentially doing, um, we don't need this anymore, it's essentially taking this name, replacing it in here, and then taking this API key and replacing it into here, right? So this is actually the same thing as this. We're just using some fancy string formatting for that. Don't worry about it, okay? And so we're gonna toss that into there. Now this is gonna run but that information, we're going to be getting it. How am I supposed to see it? I need to be able to see it. So we're going to use something very cool here. Uh, it's a default um, Python thing that I'll, I'll show you guys a better version to make it more readable later. But just for now, we're going to be using print. Print just shows stuff to your screen, which it should be basic knowledge. If you're following along this video, you already know about. And so we're just going to print the information. Now, if I run this, I'm going to show you guys my command prompt here so you guys can see it. We're going to be running, uh, so we're going to type API contact, oops, dot .py to run it. There we go. And this is going to spit out all the information that it got back, okay? So success true, and then all the information, right? However, this does not look very pretty. So we're going to go back over to our Atom here. And there's a very nice um, library. So this time we're going to do from pprint. So from the library, pprint, which stands for pretty print, we're going to be importing the function pprint. So there's the, both the function, which is this pprint, and there's the library name, which is like the li the name of the library, which is pprint here. Okay, We don't want the entire library, we just want the function pprint. And then just instead of using print here, we're going to be using pprint of that. And now if I go back to my command prompt, and I should show you guys here, when I run it, this looks so much better, so much easier to read. Some of it's still hard to read. Like if you look here, this is still difficult-ish to read because you don't know when one folder starts and the next one stops and yada yada.
but it still is a lot easier to read. For example, like I know these are my dual stats. I know this is my bedwar stats, stuff like that. Right? So they're all very basic things that you should have uh, not too much difficulty reading if you really want to. Okay. And like I said earlier, uh, if you go onto your um, Firefox browser here, it's a lot easier to read. I, if you are willing to get Firefox, if you already have Firefox, just use this. If you're too lazy to do a Python script, you'll be able to get all the information you want. Um, so that's it for this episode. Uh, hopefully in the future, I'll be able to make follow-up episodes for different modes specifically. So the API here is very complex and some stats are not very well described with their name and that's because maybe some of the hypixel developers were a little uh, lazy or maybe they're a little out of touch when it came to writing up the, the api it's also very old and so because of that some of these are not very uh, good so for example um bedwars level is very similar just the bedwars level but some some stats are not very uh, straightforward right and so in the future hopefully i can make videos on that if you want to see any tutorial on any specific mode that isn't skyblock because there are so many skyblock related tutorials out there if you want to do anything that isn't skyblock shoot me down a comment down below and uh, i read every single comment don't worry about that and i will a hundred percent prioritize whatever you guys want so if you guys want like quick stats or something for example Within a week, I'll hopefully have a video out, um, depending on my schedule, for that, so that you guys can get going and work in whatever project you want to do that uses the Hypixel uh, API. Um, that's it for this episode. So, like I said, comment down below if you want and to see any specific follow-up videos, and then uh, obviously like the video if you like the video, and subscribe if you want to stay up to t uh, up to date with all my new videos I'm posting, so that you don't miss maybe a video that might help you with your projects.